we are happy to announce that FEM design can now be used with the construction stages. This will be very useful in the calculation of structures like high-rise buildings and bridge construction. The construction stages function helps to model and design the different building phases and it helps to determine the construction process effects on the displacement and internal force distribution of the finished structure. We will now look at a simple example to analyze the structure and effects of the construction stages. You can use color coding to easily identify the stages on the model. You can create construction stages manually or you can generate them by story. In FemDesign 18, the structural elements are assigned to a construction stage from the construction stages menu. Load cases are created normally and then assigned to each construction stage. You have the option to set them in three ways. Acting only in this stage, acting from this stage on, or shifted from first stage. You can also create load combinations that contain load cases and construction stages. In the calculation, there is now the construction stages option and you can choose between two types of analysis, incremental tracking method or ghost structure method. When the tracking method is chosen, the model is built stage by stage. In the case of ghost structure method, the full structure is in the calculation, but the stiffness of those structural parts which aren't in the specific stage is highly reduced. You will get a new result category called construction stages with all the displacements and internal forces and stresses. In this example, the blue columns are mounted in the second and final construction stage. The added columns do not take any loads because the structure is already deflected before mounting the columns. You can see and compare the results for different construction stages by moving the dial on the timeline. 